I, I will. Well, because he tried to block me. So you are He's blocking me. No, you tried. To, you. So I'm not even trying to talk to you. I'm not even trying to talk to you. It doesn't matter. Why are you blocking? Why are you putting the light in my face? Okay, but why is the light in my face? Good for you. Why is the light in my face? Does everybody remember Sergeant Clark? If you're new here, I will have the links to the original Laura Shark vs. Sergeant Clark video in the description, as well as the full complaint. I had filed a complaint against Sergeant Clark for violating my First Amendment rights to record. Um, I just need to file a complaint. You what? I need okay. to file a complaint, um, but I need the badge number of Sergeant Clark. And <sighs> Alright. Um, will you spell your name for me? L-A-U-R-A. I already have it spelled out. Oh, goodness. You're wonderful. <laughs> Here's the follow-up on that complaint one year later, and the LAPD's final decision on that complaint. I got a little partner in crime. <laughs> We're going to the harbor station to inquire about my uh, complaint I filed a year ago. Let's see how this goes. This is my backup cam. Hi. Hello. How are you? Alright. Um, who's your watch today? I think they, I just I have an inquiry about uh, the complaint I filed a year ago. Okay. Or if you can look it up. No, I can't look I didn't think so. I know you won't do that anymore. <laughs> What's your name? Awesome, Lynn. Lynn? Delane. Oh, Delane. I've seen you before, right? Have you seen me? Yes. Okay, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Sorry, man. How are you? I'm great. I'm Laura. I've seen you on television. Uh, YouTube. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What can I do for you? I just don't want to inquire about my complaint because it's been a year. It's been a year? Yep. And I haven't heard anything back. Los Angeles Police Department has received your complaint. You will be informed of disposition of the investigation. Because I was speaking with uh, Sergeant Inslee about it for a little while, but it's, what did he tell you? He said he that you guys had up to a year, right? To, and then so I've been messaging him saying it's been a year with no reply. Where's so the, where's the date on this? We're playing it. Well, I hear back about the staff. My complaint six months, a year, never. That was just me. <laughs> you, what we I, do but is he we sent sent out, me this yeah, on the ninth. Yeah, so you we get at least sent out saying that it, it's been completed. This is your complaint number. I know. So right now I cannot go into the system and see the status of your complaint. Once a complaint's generated, I don't know if it goes to internal affairs or we have a complaint unit here. I don't know who handled it and what's the nature of your complaint. Mm -hmm. But you can call internal affairs. Well, this is the nature of my complaint, but. <laughs> Sergeant Clark, First Amendment violation. Okay. I don't know if internal affairs is handling it or we're handling it on our end. So right. how do I find this out? <laughs> okay, I come back on Monday. Mm -hmm. Let me burn a copy of this. Mm -hmm. I'll give you my business card. And when I get back to work, I'll inquire with Sergeant Pickering from the complaint unit and see where this is at, and I'll okay. let you know what's going on. Oh, who would you say, Sergeant? Pickering, Pickering. is not a complaint unit. Oh, okay. okay. All right. I'll be back shortly. All right. All right. <laughs> Turn in guns to receive the target gift card. Is there an incentive to uh, give up your right to protect yourself is a uh, target gift card. Why are about this? I come back Monday. I'm off for a couple days. So here's your card. This is my business card, mm -hmm. Sergeant Andrew T. Hudlett. Okay. If you have any further questions okay. regarding this, and um, let me do some homework on this. I'll get back to you. So Monday, um, are you going to be at night again? You want me? Yeah, to I started 1,600 hours.
Hello. Hello. Can I see, uh, what's your name? Frank Cardigan? Yeah. Hi, I'm sorry. I'm on the field today. Uh, yeah, I know. I was coming here and all of a sudden I see all these cards. I was like, okay, right. yeah, I have to go. Have, <laughs> Let me um, get on my email. I um, got a hold of uh, the complaint sergeant. It's being handled in the house. Like, I, I uh -huh. emailed you back. Uh -huh. He said he's going to email me back. I haven't even gone to my email. Just give me a few minutes. Let me log on. Okay. I'll take a look and see what he says. All right. If he hasn't said anything, um, I'm going to give you his number and yeah. you can talk. And I'll bug him. <laughs> yeah. Okay? All right. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to get in. <laughs> All right, the shark would be sitting in here. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> That'd be a fun, sneaky one. Ah, here we go. The statute date was May 9th. The investigation, mm -hmm. was, completed in, the investigation mm -hmm. was completed in February. There was one allegation of misconduct against Dacia Clark, and it was unfounded. Unfounded. Laura did not receive a letter from the department explaining the results of the investigation because she did not provide an address. She can go down to downtown to IAG and they will give her a copy of the letter. They keep a letter on file in cases where the complainant is unknown or is no mailing address given. She might be able to call IAG and give them her address and they might mail it to her. Let me know if you need anything else. Why, why can't it just be emailed just like the first letter, the confirmation letter? I don't know why that policy is made that way, but according to our complaint sergeant, that's why they didn't, they, they had nothing to send. And it has more detail. What's that? It has more detail about about well, the reporters. You just said that it's uh, it's um, been categorized as unfounded. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. All right, man. I okay. Guess, um... Is there anything else I can do for you? Nope. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. That's okay. But thank you for So basically what happened was okay, so way to wrap that uh, whole complaint process up, what they said was it was unfounded. So my complaint was based on her violating my First Amendment right to record. Her trying to push me back like 150 feet, it was ridiculous. I mean she was yelling and then, I mean, it was ridiculous. Anyways, honestly I'm not surprised because in the heart of hearts they don't they don't really care about our First Amendment but and I know she's not here anymore because apparently when you make a complaint on an LAPD officer, they just move him to another one. So I don't really know what I was expecting, but I just wanted to take <clears throat> take you guys with me on the uh, trip of the complaint process. It's okay. It's not gonna stop me.